So this render lesson, we're going to focus on cameras. Cameras are essential to image making in Maya. What you, when you want to make images in Maya or animations, you're going to need virtual cameras. So basically, we're going to create little cameras in our world. And there's a few different types of cameras in Maya that we can access with different kinds of controls. So, but you have to um, definitely create them and they function like objects. They're like any other object in Maya. You can transform them, you can move them, you can rotate them, you can scale them, and you can animate them. So basically what you're going to do is we have to create the cameras. So we're going to go up, when you want to make a camera in Maya, what you do is you go up here to cameras, and then you hit create. I mean, well, you hit camera. There's a few different camera types in here. So this is where you access them. Right now I'm going to show you just a very basic camera. So we're going to start a camera right here. So if you notice, it's uh, ready to move. Um, it seems a bit small. So uh, let's see. Yeah, you can just see the little tiny green dot there. So sometimes if you create something, depending on your scale of your scene, you're going to have to scale up your object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale that camera there. OK. So sometimes um, I tend to scale things up, but then I like to have things in, uh, go over here to the channel box. It's always good to have very uniform numbers here. So I'm going to hit on the scale X, and then I'm going to hit Shift down to the Z. This will keep my uh, number uniform. I'm going to type in 10. I have like nice clean whole numbers. OK, there we go. And then we can uh, like access the camera here. So you have your, your pick, move, rotate, and scale. So also, too, um, that's Q. This is W, this is E, and this is R, if you like to use hotkeys. So um, anyway, so there you have that camera. So I'm going to pick it. I'm going to pick, I'm going to use W to move it. So all right, I'm moving it out, but I, you can see it up in the, um, in the perspective view there. Or you can see in the bunch of views, but in the perspective view, it's very clear. You can see it moving back and forth there. But I'm not seeing what like what's in that camera there. So earlier in another lesson, what I did was I showed you all how to access your camera. So now this is where it becomes essential. So now here we're going to do is go up into your your panel tools. You're going to go up into your perspective, and this is the new camera we just created. Here we go. Okay. So you don't really see anything because it's sitting right in the middle of the scene here. So if I move back, you'll notice here it is. But it's at the floor level because it's if you see the line here it's, it's down on the ground so what i need to do is move it up okay there we go then we actually can see the scene there and zoom out this might look okay here but you need to always remember to turn on your resolution gate to make sure it's okay yeah so whatever you have set for your rendering size that's that's okay so if you if you picked it and you find it, oh wow it might have looked okay in just the regular perspective. You definitely have to put on your resolution gate to realize what you have in there. There you go. Okay, so that's that camera there and how to manipulate and move it around. Um, so like say I want to move it up and say I want to rotate the camera a little bit. So what I can do is I can move it down. A nice little scene there. And you can animate things as well. Yeah, so that's just a basic camera. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to delete that camera. Delete. And I am going to start us into aim. Just one of the other cameras we have over here. So what I'm going to do is I already created a bunch of cameras here. And um, I went over how to do just a regular camera. So this one has an aim to it. So I will show you what happens with aim. That is this camera here. So we go to create cameras and you go to camera aim. Camera aim is interesting because it allows you to access the camera itself. You can move the camera here if you like, but you can also move it. Well, you can move it from this point where it's aiming. You can actually move the aim of the camera. So this is very interesting, especially if you're going to be doing some anim animation or something like that. So an interesting here, thing here too is what will happen is you can set your aim. So say I want to fly over this whole scene. 
your aim stays fixed. So it stays right there. Right? So if I want to completely rotate to the top, come back down. So that's with aim. Aim is useful for that, especially if you're doing flyover scenes, rotation. All right, so I'm going to switch. I'm going to reference that camera again. I'm going to switch it off. And the other camera I'm going to show you here is a uh, camera with aim and an up control. So I'll show you how that works. I'm going to unreference that. So this also has the aim control here, right? And then you can access that again up here in camera. Up in, I mean, create camera and then aim up. Okay. So the difference with this one is you you can you know move your aim. I mean, yeah, you can move your aim point. You can move your camera. Wait, I'm not seeing anything here. I was wondering why it's going on here. Um, switch to that window here. Okay. I did not change my camera in that view there. There we go. I wonder what's going on here. All right. So if you notice, you know, stuff like this going on. Now this has this extra control here because sometimes you might have something else going on in your scene. So you might have some flipping going on. So you might want to have some extra control. So this, this controls your up of your camera. Because sometimes when you're doing animations, it gets kind of tricky. And then when you're keyframing, you might have issues with it. So you might want to have control of what's up and what's down. So that's how you control that. Just wanted to show you this tool, this, I mean, this camera as well. It will come in handy later. You don't really, really need it right now. So I'm going to switch this off. I'll go back to the regular demo camera. And see, I'm switching my cameras here. And there we go. So that is the basics for cameras. So before you start a scene, definitely go and create at least one camera. So you're not just working with your perspective view camera. Okay.